Hello, Erfan View fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. We left off in the last episode getting started in the process of collecting RAM from a MacBook Pro. So let's go straight there now and continue on. We had left off changing permission on the osxpmem.app file, which is the file that we're going to use, the program we're going to use to acquire our RAM. The next thing we need to do is we need to load the proper driver for the task because if we don't, this is going to fail in some pretty spectacular ways. So I'm going to uh, kext load osxpmem.app and I am going to load this macpmem.kext file. Again, we go back to the command, uh, a new command line. And if we get there, then things have uh, performed exactly how we expect them to perform. The next thing that we're going to do is issue the command to collect the RAM. And by the way, this is all free. Everything we're doing is all free downloads, all free tools. OSXP mem, tac tac, format. What format do we want our RAM image to be done in? We want it in the raw format. We don't want to compress it because some tools have a problem parsing compressed RAM. TAC O, what do we want our output to look like? Well, we want to put it on our destination drive, so we need to go to volumes. Don't you just love that? We need to go to volumes and point it at our destination drive. Then we got to we have to give it a name. I'm just going to call it RAM image dot dump. That's the, the uh, file format that I'm going to use. You press enter and away it goes. Now in this case, the RAM is being collected and you can see that the cursor is sitting at a blank line not doing anything. Well, it is doing something. It is collecting the RAM. Just be patient. This can take some time and the time it's going to take is dependent on things like the speed of your destination drive, the, the size of your RAM, and the density of the data in your RAM. Just for a baseline here, I'm using the Samsung T5 uh, solid state drive on my 16 inch MacBook Pro that has 64 gigabytes of RAM. It is going to take approximately two and a half minutes to acquire 64 gigs of RAM, which is blisteringly fast. Join me in the next episode and we'll see what happens once the RAM is collected. But in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.